Hello viewers and welcome to your program Talk to the Camera Special with Ms. Seal Akemta Kabo. As the country they go through so many difficulties presently, the camera then a chaddy for get an interview with Mr. Adul Fatoma, when I the Chief Executive Director of Chaddy for now tell with the steps they would themselves don't take as then an institution would be in charge of. Uh, human rights violation and also we in charge for empower individuals in the country. So we can't for can get an interview with some Nate tell we what they don't do and what they they do and what they get plans for do as the country they come closer to elections. Welcome to this interview. Go please introduce yourself to viewers. Abdul M. Fatoma, the Chief Executive Campaign for Human Rights and Development International, um, Chadi CHRDI. Well, plenty of people who watch you right now go once for you tell them what are the activities they were charged don't they do before. We are a social policy advocacy rights based organization. We they advocate for the right of Sierra Leoneans and we they also seek for redress for victims and we don't suffer human rights abuse, human rights violation and social injustice. And we don't fit several cases them like employment uh, cases them. The one day them be sacked now statistics. We be fit for let them pay them money. The one day them be one for redundant na fire force over ninety one people. We be get for make them regain uh, people the way they sack na wataki people the way they sack na not come and then. We also engage in uh, mediation processes during elections, by elections. Uh, since 2020, when we get involved in mediation process, um, Salon was able to organize 22 by elections and without uh, repeating them by elections, and they like we've been there before. You know, um, all due to we engagement into the thing because if you want to be a mediator, um, you get to get the authority, then you get the trust and confidence, you know, from the people. So I think with that, we able to do that, and we help save this country plenty, plenty money, and we help save this country, you know, from a lot of uh, community conflict during or after election. And Charlie is an institution where they deal with human rights. And now we look presently inside the country salon as we don't do witness plenty of police brutality. So we we'll don't ever come inside the kind case then. We don't come out plenty and you know with a public statement for you know uh, condemn the action of the Sri Leon police against the citizens of Sri Leon. Um, either the arbitrary arrest or lawful detention of Sierra Leoneans. Um, uh, recently, we will come out and you know um, express with dissatisfaction about the rampant arrest of opposition leaders um, and unlawful detention of opposition political party leaders um, and women. Um. We come out and you know say that then we don't also intervene in several where in a lot of political party uh, leadership then we don't able for prevent them prolonging detention or even the arrest because of we step into the thing and they so I mean we all know say Salon they go through a lot of human rights challenges because even the laws and where we get from the Constitution to the 1965 Public Order Act to the 1964 Police Act. These acts, they all know really they help for promote human rights in a democratic um, environment and the employment law in this country. It also get huge challenging actually when it comes to the protection fulfillment of fundamental rights of citizens. So um, the organization always, they raise concern you know about the laws there we ask for the repeal of the laws there we ask for amendment of the laws there so that citizens and be able for enjoy them full you know uh, and god-given rights well presently we see inside the country we different different food items they just they go up and there is no price control and the layman they suffer so you know don't it fit say when organization need for step inside for now government no see salon for get price control? Uh, definitely. Um, this is not the first time where they talk to the media um, concerning about the living conditions of Sri Leoneans and I don't talk now other national 
uh, radio or national televisions um, or other media outlets, you know, raising the concern that say uh, the the living condition of Sierra Leoneans is um, very very much hard and uh, you know and challenging. That families and they think within then go eat tomorrow and uh, even though go clean, some family no actually know you know um, if they hope they for let them go provide food you know, um, for them family. And now where the rains don't come, it continue for add on the situation and the challenges on, on people. So um, we, the, the sad thing is that the government or they engage the people, you know, and tell them exactly within the uh, circumstances them or the challenges them. You go only hear the government, you know, or mouthpiece, then they say, oh, now global, the same thing will happen in Ukraine and Russia, so all over inflation there. And you see that the government spend much of in time, they engage the, the importers then, than the consumer, you know, so the consumers then feel let out that you know, they have not received a world information from the country. And now the fundamental right too for them to get access to the information the way you know, they need to get. But you see that breakdown in communication within government and the people. And this helped for generate a lot of discontent among citizens and, and think that say, I mean, government not care about the, the the situations where they actually, you know, uh, uh, monitor them and where they force them into more poverty. Well, now we talk small about the fear, the price of pump and petrol cars in and all. We don't witness that the international world say the price of fuel cut down to 30 percent, but inside we country, we don't see that kind of change. There, so as a civil rights activist, what do you think concerning that? Well, you see one thing about the government not able to handle the situation of um, the petroleum product in this country with sincerity and maturity. You know, um, when you look at the trend, um, inside June we begin a lot of drama, r rapid increment. Yeah. Then when it comes to the, uh, you know, uh, reduction, you see a slow-paced attitude of the marketers and the government actually for decide if you know the price need for go down, you know, um, in, in the best interest of the consumer. But now, currently, um, both the dealers and the government continue for make more excessive profits, you know, against the will and the wish of we, the consumer, and this they bring, you know, untold hardship on we, the, the citizens and at this country. The reason being that everything we do, it links to energy. Because for there, you move from one point to another, even for can conduct this interview, you use transportation. If now you vehicle, you get for by fuel. You know, if na transportation, if you been paid two thousand euro, uh, probably na three thousand euro, three five or four thousand euro. It depends, because even the, you know you been talk about price control, even the control of prices in transportation, government will pull out a release and get a cap. But the 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 keke owners, the Okada owners, the uh, commercial vehicle owners, and they care less about government you know, um, announcement on things, I mean, so if people they in a worry, they have to pay, you know, the demand with them people, then they say, government can say no pay, no allow, but then, you know, um, no control, no, the, you go report the police, probably the police, not they even give you the kind of attitude where you go show, say, you know, indeed you can seek for justice. So with all of them kind of situations, I uh, make the the, the environment becomes more tense and people think that say, I mean, they are not part of this country. And pretty soon we get for going to elections and in the way the country they go right now, they get so many confrontation from the opposition party and also the ruling party. And the lesser man, 
they suffer inside all this. And child in an institution where they fall, the delays Saloma gets the rights and the justice we deserve. So going to elections, waiting people for expect for for Una, wait to get for them. Going into election already, we currently they work with, with partners and the um, United Nations and also OSIWA and other international organizations for see how best we can able for put we support them together and we plan them for engage political party leadership. I mean that will be a continuous engagement because currently we engage political party leadership. We don't engage the former uh, president of this country. We don't engage, you know, um, traditional leaders. We don't engage, you know, key opposition political party leaders in uh, this country. I mean, for let we think about the country in interest than, you know, their individual political party interest or their individual interest. But then the people of this country always serve as a vulnerable, you know, option towards politi politicians and political agenda. They know the way this time here can the best thing can offer with people them now for tell them about now na the Mende then turn, now na the Timini then turn, now na the Northern then turn, now na the Southeast then turn, now na the Creole then turn, now na the Fuller then turn. You know, no actual good message, you know, the way they tell and say the least village will not get access to health care, will able to get health care and also get affordable health care, getting the access and get an affordable one that ain't very good for any country. Um, they're not able to tell you, say, but all the minerals that we don't, they pull out of a country. They go sell to other countries and then other countries and they, they develop through that. Then go able for use that money they for bring development for ensure that say the life expectancy in other communities and they all the country go continue for grow. And they not go assure you that say young people will get quality, you know, and sustainable job. But waiting and go tell you say we will give you a job. Then when they can empower, either they give you a job na, for clean drainage, than a gutter, or then give you a job for, say, go na fishing, wife, go fishing, or then give you a job, say, go make farm. I mean, I'm not there against all of these jobs then, but they make the, the, the equipment then, you know, they're not actually there, you know, because most of we young people will create classroom for educate them, or go through school and go university, go get degree, either in banking and financing, in, you know, uh, IT and all this. But not much in agriculture, not much in fishing, not much in cleaning drainage, you know. But, I mean, this is not the job where they end up giving. They see a graduate in political science, you know, sociology, they write Keke or Okada. Because it don't come more university years without job. It's a job, yeah. You know, and it, they get older. So it don't feel say now instead don't start to get women, it don't start to get picking them. Then definitely it need for be a grown up man and take in responsibility. You see, it forces himself to create then self employment or family members and help her, then buy them keke or then you see that say the, the, the law enforcement agency from the government and you know, they still harass them people there and, and suppress them. And you see themselves very, very much unhappy, you know, about the relationship between them and the, and the Australian police. You know, uh, because they feel that say, the police, they, uh, you know, take a lot of money away from them and the police then they harass them a lot. And if you say somebody lawless, fix the law in place and apply the punishment across the board. But when the one will give you money, it will be lawless. Then the one will not give you money. If you be lawless, then you take them, you know, you arrest them, you detain them, you seize the Okada. By the time they come out detention, the tire not the, the light not the, you know, or the keke tire not the. It, it, it brings a lot of tension at the country. It, it, it shows that, I mean, these other people are different than me. And with them kind of a feeling that they, you know, they help we for build the social cohesion where government they talk about. 
So, I mean, we organization can try for look into the internet and they engage the police, engage the judiciary, engage the young men there. So that's the reason why I make we engage youth groups them at every level, at our base, or any other level, you know, for let them actually share with we within that and challenges them. So when we can go now they meeting then they with you know either government, United Nations or other development partners and for this country. We can say, I mean, maybe you go give the young people within the need, but not to within the want. You know, so it, it's high time when I actually sit down with them than you know the ministry just sit down think that say, oh uh, the youth man them you know, they don't get woke, you fulfill this kind of thing. Well, I mean, a drowning man, you get a knife, you pick him up. So that's the situation of young people. So when election they come, we women them for ask for more uh, social facilities the way that they right. Even though the constitution say some of this right, they are not justiciable. Meaning you cannot take action against the state. If they fail for provide school for you now your community, if they fail for provide healthcare facility for you now your community, because you know these other countries them now a must, you know a constitutional right. That if the government fail, you can able to take legal action against the government. But in we own case, the government of Australia through the 1991 constitution, now give the citizens and that right there. If your government fail for provide their, their um, basic fundamental right provisions, and so these are all the challenges and for advocacy, and we continue for you know ask citizens and for join we for urge the government that will really look into the constitution. Um, bring laws the way we able for help we and uh, uplift we life as a citizen. Okay. Well, finally, before we end this interview, what do people for expect from Charlie going forward? Okay. Let people expect more stronger advocacy and inclusive advocacy. We get for uh, reach out to the community. Then very soon, people then go begin see we would engage them and then community leaders them. Let people them you know uh, uh, voice out what in the one that the community where elections they come. What in the demand for the political parties them. We want to get them voices then they and then bring them voices and they you know uh, um, to them political leaders away they stand. So we actually want to take the government to the people by getting the people's voice and bring and come to the door. I mean, government comprises of all citizens. So the few one that we, we vote for, for let them represent we, they're accountable to we. So with that, now it make we get for go back to the community and ensure that say we get community voice and we advocate on that community voice. Okay, plenty thank you for talking to me. You're welcome, sir. That's now Mr. Abdul Fatoma, a chief executive director of Chadi. As he don't tell you, the difference in the way Chadi they do and also the steps they will they get for take for make sure see the individual life of citizens and the country develop and they will make sure see themselves play their young parts come 2023 elections. Me na si la kem takago. Until then, ta-ta. <laughs>